Hi friends, here is Aicha from Aicha RP account in Bangalore. Now we are continuing to work with a healthcare application that is um, in Blue Prism RPA. Now we are continuing like designing a bot for a patient process. And if you really like this video, you please subscribe it and you please refer to your friends. Thank you. So right now, if you observe these objects like patient ID, NHS number, last date, first date, and these one, these objects are like you know grayed out. If I click on new, then these object you know, disable means like they won't allow any like a keyboard inputs or mouse clicks. So okay, click on new. So to make it uh, finds. Close. right and to do this one we need to teach to blue pressure about this particular particular object so let me open application modeler then click on add element the identify this time i'm using win32 mode then press Control plus left mouse button to capture it. Like a new button. And if, if you note, okay, you can notice the difference between the region mode and uh, the event 32 mode is in region mode. The blue pressure will capture in the form of like a regions it doesn't matter whatever is an object and then will capture in the form of like a regions only if you say uh, highlight this one see uh, under win 32 mode blue prism is so blue prism is capturing in the form of like an you know, element type is like a button and again if i click on highlight so now it's able to identify this one and then let me add like uh, one action like let me change this action yeah, like you know, navigate stage, then drag and drop the like new button here. And if you observe here, the actions against the elements will change. Suppose if you use any one of these one, let's select like login, it's also like a you know, push button. And the actions, are and since we captured uh, under like in region mode. The actions against the element is changing, right? Okay, drag and drop, I'll remove it and add, drag and drop new button, and then um, choose an action like a press because it's considering as a thick light. So click on new, then okay. So link the stages, so reset it. then close the application because if it's already open it gives me use of an internal exception that is like application is already launched like that so reset it and then run it So it's giving us some error message. We'll see like a fail to perform. Step one in navigate cell login button page on like login unable to match any. Right. Login cursor. Okay, here I did one mistake. That is, I'm supposed to take like a you know, global mouse click center. There's a new button. Then reset it, then run it. So 
So I'm running the login process once again. You can notice like one error here, like one internal exception. You can see like you know how to. We, then we will see, and we, uh, how do we, how can we fix the exception? So you can notice one error here. Login error, like internal exception, failed to perform like a step one. So here is like error message. So it's an internal exception like an error. So fail to perform step one in navigate stage. Click on new on patient login unable to match any windows with the query items. Means if you update here, it is performed like two actions. One is like login. Once you login, then it's going to be performed like the blue prism is able to perform uh, the click on new action. But whereas blue prism is always faster than an application because application is not responding up to the like, you know, blue prism expectations. That's why like you know, by using like a wait stage, so we will instruct we will instruct blue prism uh, or else we can increase the window sorry uh, blue prism waiting time. So by using like wait stage, I'm inserting like wait stage here. I am giving like a static wait. So link it. So reset it. Then, so the default waiting time is like 5 seconds. It's enough for this one. And then five seconds. So reset it. Then it show like your errors. Then run it. So if you notice here, blue prism will wait. See now it's not performing any action. It's waiting. Now it's performed like you no know, click. Uh, now it's clicked on like a new button, and the, now it's the information the fields are you know they are able to they, now they can allow like a keyboard inputs or mouse clicks okay so please stay with us and then we'll continue with uh, designing a bot for the patient uh, system thank you for watching if you really like it please subscribe it and thank you